What is going on, YouTube people? Neo Cards and Comics here. We got a spicy meatball this morning. Uh, this news actually came out yesterday afternoon, right around the same time as the SGC pricing stuff. Uh, and I debated doing this video instead of the SGC pricing, and I decided to flip flop and do the SGC pricing yesterday and the, this video today. Because I wanted a little bit more time to dig into basically Paul Lesko's Twitter feed. Uh, and see what he had to say about this as he is the legal expert when it comes to cards. Now, this is not sports card related. This is TCG related. Uh, Upper Deck is suing Ravensburger Games. So they're suing some cheeseburgers. Over Disney Lore Kana. What was going to be one of, or actually already is, uh, the latest Disney pump product. Uh, was probably going to be super popular, probably still is going to be super popular. We'll have to see how this all plays out. But basically, the gist of this is a game designer worked at Upper Deck. He helped them design a game. He left, went to Cheeseburger in Paradise to make a game. That game, the rules have come out. There's been demos of it now of Lorcana publicly. Upper Deck saw that and said, hey, this is the same game that you designed for us that we haven't released yet. Uh, no, and has filed suit against Cheeseburger in Paradise to try to stop this, whatever. Uh, one of the things that they say at the end is, is you potentially uh, delay or cancel the release of this game. Now, will it go that far? I have no idea. I am not. As we, anytime it gets in the legalese, I usually say something, something law and order. Uh, I did not sleep at Holiday and Express last night insert whatever one-line joke that you want to here. But in all seriousness, I am no legal expert. My guess here is, is that they'll saber rattle, Cheeseburger in Paradise will throw them some money, and Upper Deck will be like, cool, we're good here, we got our taste, or we want a percentage off the top, whatever. Or this is a big nothing burger, and it'll get thrown back in their face. I feel like it doesn't get this far if you don't have at least a little something-something, uh, to be this public about it, you know, they released a statement on IG. Making a lot of waves on this one, you would feel like they would have their ducks in a row to a certain degree. Now, the interesting part of this all is, is the Orkana is set to release very soon. Uh, the original drop, I believe there was going to be like a preview release at Gen Con. Uh, for those of you folks not familiar with what Gen Con is, it is the national version of tabletop gaming cards, board games, whatever. Uh, it is their version of the national New York City Comic Con, San Diego Comic Con, Gen Con. Uh, it's in Indianapolis, Indiana. It's been there forever. Uh, I went once a very long time ago, had an absolutely fantastic time. But it was set to launch there and then a couple, maybe one other con, and then it was going to come out to hobby shops and then it was going to come out to big box retailers. This product has been much talked about. There was the D23 promos that came out last year that sell for anywhere from two to four thousand dollars in PSA tens might have come down a little bit since then. The intriguing part now is, and I to be fair, I feel like the odds of this actually happening are slim to none. Is that this thing just never releases? Is that on the table? Sure, but I feel like it's a low percentage chance something will get worked out somewhere where this game eventually comes out. It could get delayed, maybe, because we're not that far away. I have to imagine Upper Deck's going to ask for some sort of injunction or temporary restraining order or whatever uh, to stop this thing from launching on time. So worst case, it screws up their launch window that they have been prepping for forever. But I have to imagine eventually it comes out. If by some weird chance it doesn't. Now those D23 promos take on a whole nother life. And I checked prices today, only a couple sold. I was interested to see if anyone FOMO'd into them. Because there is a scenario where this game never releases, and then that those are the only Disney Lorcana cards to ever come out, and then they become this whole mythical thing uh, if this ends up going a certain way. Once again, I don't think it goes that way, so I'm not... Uh, I wasn't planning on buying those D23 promos ever in my life anyway. I'm not the biggest Disney guy in the world. I like the Star Wars and Marvel stuff, but like Disney characters or whatever to me, they're fine. They don't affect me one way or the other. 
Uh, but just be careful if you are, say, you know, thinking you're going to make a play on the D23 promos based off of this news specifically. Uh, that feels a little bit of a stretch. You're really gambling on that one. You know, does this build for the hype cycle for this product? If it comes out or not, do boxes leak out? Who Now, there is this whole other fun level of uh, shenanigans involved now with this release, assuming things get slowed up. Like I said, maybe there could be some backroom deal done here and this is all over with. But you would feel like, you know, Rudy and Alpha Investments talked about this in his video. You would feel like these two companies have probably talked already about this and Upper Deck didn't like the way that it went and said, okay, you're forcing our hand. Here is the lawsuit to prevent this or to attempt to prevent this or to give us financial uh, restitution, whatever you want to call it, uh, on this release. Because you would, if it comes to release and they sell it, and then the case ends up going to court and they find that it was Upper you know, yes, Upper Deck was correct in all this, then they're probably going to get all the profits or a large share of the profits. And then that's a whole other, you know, problem for the Ravens burgers, cheeseburgers, bacon cheeseburgers, whatever burgers. Uh, that's a whole different problem for them then. You know, so this causes, there's a whole bunch of ripple effects to this. Uh, I would recommend, as always, anything legal related. Uh, Paul Lesko did put out a really nice tweet thread about this. And if you're not following him already, you absolutely should be. Let's go as a fantastic Twitter follow, uh, especially if you enjoy hobby drama, if you will, on the legal side of things. Uh, he's always very quick on stuff and gives a very nice breakdown of what is going on in plain English for us normal folk that do not understand legalese. So we're going to have to see how this all plays out. And with the Lorcana release coming very quickly, like I said, we are not that far away from it. Uh, I have to imagine there's going to be aspects of this case that move very quickly. Uh, I would assume, once again, not a legal expert, not a lawyer, not Lenny Briscoe, not Jack McCoy, that Upper Deck's going to try to do something to hold up the release. And maybe that's their end goal in this, is just, hey, we saber rattle here, we screw up their launch, and then you know their whole marketing campaign is all messed up and it's kind of got this weird vibe around it when the product releases. Maybe that's like their worst case scenario is we get no money out of this. Uh, we spend some money on lawyers for a little bit, but we jack up their release window all the way to the other end of the extreme is, Oh crap. Uh, that game never came out because of X, Y, or Z thing, or it came out and upper deck gets 50% of the profits or something like that. I, I don't know how this stuff typically shakes out. So, Another wild, wild day in the world of cardboard, whether it's sports cards with pictures of men, or in this case, uh, shiny, more plasticky pictures of cartoons. The drama never stops, whether it's dramas between collectors, buyers, sellers, investors, flippers, or in this case, drama behind the companies themselves that make all this stuff. So... Uh, that's all I got for you, boys and girls. Just kind of wanted to put this one on your radar. I do think it's an intriguing story, even if you're not in the TCG space, just to kind of see what happens here and how this all plays out. And anytime two manufacturers go to war, I feel like there's always a little bit of get the popcorn ready. Uh, there could be some interesting things if it gets that far. Let's get to the discovery phase. Let's see what each company can dig up on each other. Uh, that should be fun. So that's all I got. We will catch you, boys and girls, tomorrow. If nothing crazy happens, we will have a mail day video. I got a stack of stuff to go through, so that is planned for Friday. Other than that, have a great weekend. We will catch you on the next one. Peace.